Thank you for choosing Sinovision products. Today I will introduce the function and the operation of the V plugin. V stands for virtual endoscopy. Is based on patient data obtained from helical CT scanning. Performs the 3D surface rendering and volume rendering technique on the post-processing workstation and uses virtual navigation technology for endoluminal navigation combined with real-time playback to achieve an image technology similar to the effective conventional fiber optic endoscopy. It has the advantages of non-invasive, repeated visualization, dynamic analysis, no inspection blind spots, etc. It provided more foundation for displaying and observing images. Now let me demonstrate the specific operation process. Select the patient from patient list. Then select the thin slice thickness. Soft. Or soft subtract kernel scan series in the series list below. Right click to open the drop down menu. And select the AV process item from the menu. Select the virtual endoscopy item in the sub menu to enter the VE interface. Or we can also enter the V interface from the lower right corner of the screen by opening the function switching panel. Then click the V icon. In the VE interface, we can also quickly switch between 2D, patient management, film, report editing, and other advanced applications such as. 3D VE and other interfaces in the VE post processing interface the left side is the view area including via image axial coronal and sigital images in the lower left corner where it displays the two text click the right mouse button to switch between 2D, MIP, AIP, and MINIP. Display modes. In the lower right corner where it display the window width and window level. Click the left mouse button to manually input. And edit the window width and window level. The right side is the functional toolbar area. Patient information is displayed at the top where we can switch between exams and series under it and at the lowest area are the general tools including selecting panning zooming window width and window level 2d this tool can quickly open the image viewer for quick browsing bookmark this tool is used when the current post-processing needs to be interrupted. We can use the bookmark to save the current processing state and load it directly next time to continue the processing. The two buttons below are the V positioning display modes, including volume mode and I mode. This is the layout settings. We can choose either 1 multiply by 3 layout or 2 multiply by 2 layout. Below is the curve list. Virtual endoscopy playback tools and roaming navigation function icons. Now let's briefly explain the difference of the two V positioning display modes. Volume mode. This is the default mode after we enter the V interface. In this mode, we can know the position of the currently displayed V image in the anatomical structure. In the 2D view windows, the red dot represents the viewing position, and the yellow arrow represents the viewing angle. After locating the red dot and adjusting the yellow arrow in the VE window,
Press and hold the left mouse button to start roaming. The cursor on the 2D images will update accordingly. In the eye mode, we can know the direction of the viewing angle and the contents of observation. In this mode, the depth of field of the VE image is 4 cm. And if we place the mouse on the two ends of the yellow line, it becomes a ring icon with arrows, which can be rotated. And at the same time, the 2D image in the lower right corner changes accordingly. This image is perpendicular to the V image along the yellow rotation bar. A yellow arrow icon can also be seen on this 2D image. And the start end of the arrow corresponds to the start viewpoint position on V image. And the arrow end corresponds to the position that can be seen with a depth of 4 cm. The yellow horizontal line is the mapping reference line of the 2D image in the middle. Moving the yellow horizontal line will change the 2D image in the middle. And this plane is always perpendicular to the arrow. The arrow and the horizontal line can be moved separately or together. All the images are linked to each other during the operations. Let's demonstrate the operation using the volume mode. On the 2D image, place the red dot to the starting poston and adjust the direction of the yellow arrow. Click the fly throw record button to record the roaming. On the VE window, press and hold left mouse button to roam. The operation is similar to driving a car. Click again the fly throw record again to stop the recording. The roaming path is recorded. We can see a new curve is displayed in the list. Click the edit icon above the list. We can edit the current curve. Including the name of the curve. Zoom in and zoom out. Reset. Insert point. Delete point, whether the curve is hidden or not. Roaming forward or backward and pause. Adjust the current displayed VE image up, down, left, and right. The step length can be adjusted from 1 to 20M. After the adjustment is complete. Click Save at the top to save the adjusted path. Click the Delete icon to delete the currently selected curve. Click Batch button. The batch processing interface is opened for image processing and saving. Click the Start icon. And then drag the left slider up. Click the end icon. We can see the interval setting below. The default layer thickness is 1 mm. We can modify the settings as needed. After the setting is completed, the number of images will change accordingly. Click the Save to Database icon to save images to the database as needed. or sent to film for film printing. It can also be saved to movie locally. Click the protocol icon above. The opacity protocol of the virtual image can be adjusted. Roaming navigation. There are two ways to achieve roaming navigation. Panel Navigation and Keyboard Navigation Roaming can be navigated through the direction keys on the keyboard or the navigation tools in the toolbar. Through the navigation tools, 
The VE image can be moved forward, backward, up, down, left, and right. This navigation method can be used combining with the mouse, which makes the roaming operation more flexible in the V window. The introduction of the V plug-in is stopped here. Thank you for watching.